If you grew up in the early 2000s and you liked stuff like this, chances are pretty high that you will love this riff. The song is called 96 Quite Bitter Beings and it's performed by the Westchester band CKY. It was released in 99 on their album Volume 1 and it was written by the then frontman of CKY, Darren Miller, on a day that he didn't go to work. Stay at school and stay, keep working. And I have no idea how I ended up with a copy of it, but I heard the song first in the movie Land Speed CKY. CKY1, uh, a movie made by the brother of CKY drummer Jess Margera, Bam Margera, a skateboarder, and IMDb describes the film like this. The first video in the CKY series, the movie is based around skateboarding thrills and spills, but it contains the insane and disgusting stunts that eventually blossomed into jackass. So this was before Jackass and my guess is that I got the CKY movies from friends because I was into skateboarding. And man, <laughs> this riff, this band, uh, the CKY videos and everything surrounding it was the perfect mix of stupidity and aesthetics for a 14 year old me. And I think for a lot of you as well, because I played this riff on the channel a few times and it's the ultimate way of telling someone Oh, you were into dumb stuff 20 years ago too. We definitely have some shared experiences of being stupid and into a weird subculture in the 2000s. And the riff is originally played in E flat, but I play it in E to avoid copyright claims. Parker fly guitars and apparently a Boss OC2 octave pedal was used for the recordings. I just used my Digitech drop going into a AMS amplifiers Revenge 50S. And I would say that the riff is actually kind of tricky to play, not the hardest, but also not the easiest. It's a weird mix of a staccato playing style with a strange swing to it. And the drums are also really important for the feel of the riff and the song. I got my buddy Sindre Shaye to play drums uh, for me. And the drums start out by following the riff, but then it changes into a disco beat, which is, yeah, it sounds really cool. And the riff is kind of asking the drums to play like this, but I think some good choices were made by Jess Margera when they wrote the song. And by the way, I made a free PDF on how to record good guitar tones. Link down below, go get it. And this surprised me a lot when I was about to re-record this song, the bass line. It's not playing the same as the guitar and it sounds amazing. You can't really hear it that well in the mix, so I kind of assumed that the bass was playing the same as the guitar, but I think that would have been way too busy. The bass is following for some parts of the riff, but then there's this chromatic line going down before the bass and the guitar meets up again. And it's really cool. Um, listen to this. And this is the bass and drums together. Uh, 
And of course, this song is more than just a riff. I did learn to enjoy the whole song after a while, but in the beginning, I was just going back to the beginning of the song to listen to the riff again and again and again. And speaking of again, let's listen to the riff just one more time. Thanks for watching.